If you want me to continue with my work, it is crucial to support the channel via Patreon. Moreover, make sure to subscribe to Bobby's Perspective on Rumble. All the links are in the description box below. May Allah bless you all. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, interesting video today. We're going to check out the origin of Islam, revealing the life of Muhammad like never before by the channel Unraveling the Scriptures. So I'm not going to show you the thumbnail of the video because it seems they wanted to depict Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and therefore I have to assume, of course, that this video does not come from a Muslim channel. However, the more interesting it will be to react to this video and find the flaws within it. Guys, before we start the video, as always, do me the favor, leave me a thumbs up if you like the content, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and check out the links in the description box to further support. And now, with no further ado, let's have a look. Welcome to Unraveling the Scriptures channel. Thank you very much. It's possible you've heard of the name Muhammad. For those who don't know, yeah. Muhammad was the founder of Islam, the Islamic religion. Yeah, this is a very objective thing to say. As Muslims, of course, we do not believe that Muhammad created the religion of Islam. First and foremost, we of course believe that Islam comes from God and is not created by men. But moreover, we don't believe that Islam started with Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, but that it started with the first man and first prophet, Adam. Cover the origins of Muhammad and talk a little bit about the Islamic religion. Therefore, if you are not familiar with the origin and history of Muhammad, I invite you all to watch this video until the end. It would be great if they I could leave their likes, you guys. comments, subscribe to the channel and they share it with others it. so that they can- It's really surprising to me that people in this day and age still don't understand that Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him, should not be depicted. Even 10 years ago or so, when I was not a Muslim, I of course knew that Muslims do not want you to depict the Prophet. The Muhammad and Islam, here. the religion of the Arab people. That's okay. uh, enjoy. Okay. This video is trash. Islam is not the religion of the Arab people. If you actually look into the statistics, Arabs nowadays are roughly 15% of the Muslim population worldwide. The number one population of Muslims are Indonesians. We have Indonesian Muslims, we have Russian Muslims, Malaysian Muslims, so on and so forth. Arabs are actually a minority within the religion of Islam. However, yes, it is correct. It started in Arabia. In Arabic, Muhammad, better known as Muhammad, was an Arab religious, social and political leader and the founder of the Islamic religion. According to Islamic doctrine, he was a divinely inspired prophet to preach and confirm the monotheistic teachings transmitted by Adam, Abraham, Moses and Jesus, as well as other prophets. Correct, yeah. In Islam, it is believed to be the seal of the prophets. It Muhammad he. unified Arabia under a single AI Muslim videos, policy. Man with the Quran and its teachings and practices forming the basis of Islamic religious belief. He was born around okay. 570 AD in the city of Mecca, located in Riyadh. His father was Abdullah ibn Abdul Muttalib, son of the Quraysh IBM. tribal leader Abdul Muttalib ibn Hashim, who died a few IBM? months before Muhammad's IBM. birth. Abdul Muttalib was a prominent leader in Mecca and the head of the Hashemite clan before being <laughs> Guys, mind you, I clicked on this video because it has over 100,000 clicks. Now just to realize that it's an AI-generated video. Disappointing. Seated by his Still gonna Abdullah. watch it. He was also responsible for rebuilding the Kaaba, one of the holiest sites in Islam, after being damaged by flooding. His mother, Amina I bin Wa, also died and Muhammad was about six years old, leaving him an orphan. He was raised under the care of his grandfather Abdul Muttalib and his paternal uncle Abu Talib, who was Muttalib. Abdullah's brother and a respected man in the Meccan community. Abu Talib took care of Muhammad during his adolescence and youth. He was a prosperous merchant, and despite the financial difficulties he faced in his life, he cared for Muhammad with affection and protection. Muhammad years later, he used to isolate himself periodically oh, in a cave on the mountain called Hira, also known as Gar Hira, to Why spend several it? nights in prayer. This cave is located about three kilometers north of Mecca, in Saudi Arabia. When Muhammad was about 40 years old, around 610 AD, he reported being visited by the angel Gabriel, Jibril in Arabic, in the cave, 
where he received his first revelation from God. In 613 AD, Muhammad began to preach these revelations publicly, proclaiming to all that God, Allah in Arabic, is one and that complete submission to him is the correct way of life, hence the name Islam, which in Arabic origin means submission or surrender. He claimed to be a prophet and messenger of God, similar to other prophets in Islam and also in Judaism, which is an older religion. In history, it is mentioned that Muhammad's followers were initially few and faced much hostility from the polytheists in Mecca, Saudi Arabia, for about 13 years. And I mentioned this million times before, but you cannot say it often enough. Yes, the Muslims were under persecution right away amongst their own people. This is what the Christian apologists know. However, they are deceiving their own audience, of course, and they're claiming that the bad, bad Muslims attacked everybody around them. They were all so innocent, poor, poor little people. In reality, those pagans were sacrificing their firstborn daughters and many other abhorrent practices, sexual practices, as you name it that I don't even want to mention over here. This is what Islam stood against and this is why they got persecuted. Muhammad sent some of his followers to the kingdom of Aksum, also written as Aksum, which encompassed the southern Arabia and a part of northern Africa, present-day Abyssinia, in 615 AD. The kingdom of Aksum was an ancient state that existed in the region of Ethiopia and Eritrea in East Africa. Its capital was the city of Aksum, which became an important political, cultural, and commercial center in antiquity. The kingdom of Aksum flourished during the first centuries of the Christian era and played a significant role in the trade routes between Africa. Yeah, this is something that many people really do not know. They do not know the history of Orthodox Christianity within Ethiopia. Ethiopia has their own Orthodox Christian brand, and this was way before the colonization of Africa. Now, yes, it is absolutely true, of course, Africa has been partially colonized by European forces, and they imposed Christianity upon Africa. Catholicism predominantly. However, Christianity itself was already in Africa, the Orthodox Ethiopian brand. Look it up. The Arabian Peninsula, India, and the Roman Empire. Furthermore, the Kingdom of Aksum was the first African state to adopt Christianity as its official religion, which go. occurred in the 4th century AD. The Christian king, known as the Negus King or Najashi, ruled the kingdom of Aksum said, during the time me. when Muhammad's followers sought refuge there. King Negus is remembered with great respect in Islam for his just and tolerant stance towards Muslims who sought protection in his kingdom. Later on, Muhammad and his followers migrated from Mecca to Medina, known as Yathrib at that time, in the late 622 AD. This event, known as the Hijra, marks the beginning of the Islamic calendar, also known as the Muslim calendar. In Medina, Muhammad united the tribes under the constitution of Medina in December 629 AD, after eight years of intermittent conflicts with the tribes of Mecca. He managed to gather an army of 10,000 converted Muslims and marched towards the city of Mecca. Muhammad's men. conquest of Mecca in was largely lifetime, unchallenged, and Pudekis. he took the city with some bloodshed in 632 CE. A few months after returning from the farewell pilgrimage, he fell ill and died. At the time of his passing, most of the Arabian Peninsula had converted to the Islamic religion. The revelations Muhammad was reported to have received until his death were known as al wai which means, sign of God. Wahi. These revelations were recorded as verses from the Quran, which Muslims consider the very word of God on which the religion is based. In addition to the Quran, Muhammad's teachings and practices, called Sunnah, found in the literature Sunnah. of the Hadiths, are also retained and used as sources of Islamic law today. Now, some curiosities about Muhammad's life, many people know and, at the same time, do not know that he was a direct descendant of Ishmael, through his father, and that he descended from one of Ishmael's sons or, at least, from one of the descendants of that's why some jews understand and recognize prophet muhammad as a legitimate prophet however they do not accept him ishmael named adnan although most claim that muhammad was a descendant of ishmael through one of the descendants named adnan there are also some speculative views that suggest that he could have other mixtures with different arab peoples such as the midianites or other descendants of abraham that he had with keturah
However, the general consensus in Islam about Muhammad's origin is that he was a typical Ismaili. Regarding Muhammad's physical appearance, in some books he is described by his companions as follows. God's messenger Muhammad was neither very tall nor very short, neither absolutely white nor dark brown in color. His hair was neither curly nor lank. God sent him as a messenger when he was forty years old. After that he resided in Mecca for ten years and in Medina for another ten years. When God took him, he had only twenty white hairs on his head and beard. These descriptions help form a physical image of Muhammad according to Islamic tradition. I heard about other hadiths in which his skin is described as very fair, very white. Please let me know in the comment section what you think is the right description. However, it is important to note that these descriptions may vary across different historical and religious sources. Yeah, man. It, it is true that, according to reports from people who accompanied Muhammad, he had physical characteristics typical of a Semitic man, with a Semitic ethno-racial origin. His appearance was reminiscent of the ancient Semites, such as the Arabs, who generally I have a yellowish says, uh, skin tone, video, neither basically. very white nor dark, and an average height, neither short nor tall. His hair was not curled or straight, but rather wavy, as seen in the tombs of the ancient Hyksos, who were also people of Semitic origin. As for Muhammad's wives, there are different accounts, some saying that he had about eleven wives, while others mention thirteen, considering some of them to be concubines. Among his best known wives are Khadija, Sada and Aisha. It is widely believed that Muhammad died in 632 AD, in the month of June, and it is likely that he was around 62 years old at the time of his death, although some accounts mention 61 years. He accomplished in 20 years man. Some people claim that he passed away at the age of 62, this time in the city of Medina. He was the founder of Islam, and by some accounts had three sons and four daughters. It is commonly believed that all these children were born to his first wife, Khadija, except for one son named Ibrahim, who was born to Mary. Many Shiite Muslims, however, maintain that Fatima was Muhammad's only biological daughter. Furthermore, he also had an adopted son named Zaid ibn Haritha. Muhammad belonged to the Arab tribe of Quraysh, which had an ancient Ismaili heritage. He was part of the Arab Banu Hashim clan, which was a branch of the Quraysh. There is also a story that relates that, during his first sermons, many Arabs told him that their experience was not a divine revelation, but only a jinn, that is, an ancient Arab demon, playing with Muhammad. Yeah, a jinn is not an ancient Arab demon. <laughs> it is a pre-Islamic Arabic term that has been used for demons or metaphysical beings, if you will. Jinns are beings that are not angels and they're not humans. They exist in the unseen world, created by Allah. So therefore, no, they're not Arab little demons. It was this widely video, held in oh, during his amazing. time, and many people even believed and expressed it to him. However, most Muslim Arabs do not believe that it was a jinn who impersonated the angel Gabriel and conveyed such visions to him. And yeah, as a Christian, talking Medina as well. is where Muhammad was buried and is home to the Prophet's mosque, which is highly revered by Muslims. The city of Medina is seen as a place of refuge and peace and visiting the Prophet's mosque is a common practice for Muslims making the pilgrimage to Mecca. I hope you enjoyed the origin story of Muhammad, which is the starting point of the Islamic religion, adopted as the official religion in most Arab countries, as well as some other North African countries with Arab or Berber origin. Please share in the yeah, comments what uh, you already Asian know countries, and know about this uh, historical Indonesia, figure, Muhammad. Uh, some European Leave countries. Likes. And la -dee -da -dee -da. All right, guys, and that's it for today's absolutely mind-blowing, fantastic video. Yes, we're living in the times of AI, and nowadays anybody can generate a video that then in turn will generate thousands or hundred thousands of clicks. Learn from this video and open up a YouTube channel yourself and make some money. So let's sum it up. The AI pronunciation was absolutely horrendous. Moreover, the AI pairing generated virtual art of Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa which is absolutely forbidden, of course.
The data gathered was mostly accurate, however it was infused with all kinds of half-truths and very Arab-centric. It was talking about the Arab religion, it was talking about Arab demons and what not. This is what happens when you use AI to generate videos and you're not fact-checking it. Anyways guys, let's cut it off here, let's move on to the next video. That being said, it has been already over a year or so reacting to Islamic content, so if you guys have any ideas for me, please post them in the comment section below. I know that many of you want me to react to the Prophet series again. However, guys, the Prophet series is roughly half an hour long and you cannot miss a part of it. But as you know, if you've been following this channel, YouTube restricts me from reacting to content in its totality. So that means I have to chop up the video and that renders the Prophet series essentially useless. So if you have any other videos, please let me know in the comment section. All right, guys, and this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and check out the links in the description box to further support. Alright, but this is it. As always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.